Now, when students come into an anatomy or a cadaver lab, there are a lot of organs that they like to hold and touch. Most like to hold the brain and to hold the heart, but when you show students a lung, you just start noticing fingers venturing into this area because they just can't stop themselves from poking this gushy, elastic lung tissue. And then almost always, the next question follows. Are these smoker's lungs? And actually, most of the lungs that we have in our lab are relatively healthy. These particular lungs fall into this category of being relatively healthy, but what makes students think they might be smoker's lungs are all these dark, purplish lines and spots that you can see scattered throughout the lung tissue. However, these darkish purplish lines are actually just vascular markings from all the blood vessels that run through the lung tissue. Lungs have to be extremely vascular, or in other words, have a lot of blood vessels because we are trying to exchange as much carbon dioxide and oxygen with the bloodstream as possible. And so again, lungs are densely packed with these blood vessels. And another indicator of these lungs being healthy is they've maintained their pinkish color. And again, that maintaining that gushy elastic nature is a good thing as well. 